All right, this is one of the things that you see everywhere all over Taiwan. Big claw machine arcades where you can win all sorts of plushies. They got Kirby. You can win everything. You can even win African Pikachu. So, in this video, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna walk around an area of Taipei called Ximanding. It is kind of the bustling night area. There's a lot of global shops, right? There's H&M, there's all sorts of stuff like that. Most of the Airbnbs you see in Taipei are located in this area. There's also quite a bit of hotels and hostels, lots of restaurants. This is the first time I've ever filmed at night. So we'll see how well this turns out. Regardless, I'm still gonna post it because I don't care. So if it turns out pretty well, I've got plans for other videos where so I'm gonna walk around the night markets in uh, Taiwan and show what those are like. This building right here is called the Red House. It's built during uh, the Japanese colonization of Taiwan. Now it serves as sort of a museum, also mostly a performance house, which is what it was built for back in the day. On the weekends, like now, it's a Saturday. It's also a craft market on the outside. Also around this area is where most of the gay bars in Taiwan are located, right next to my Airbnb. There is, I'm pretty sure, the only bear bar. If you're not familiar with what bears are, they are large, hairy gay men. But there's one right around the corner from my place. One of the last places I'd expect a bear bar, but pretty cool. I mean, look at this, huh? Sex shop. So we'll walk across the street here. This is the H&M that I was talking about. We'll walk down the pedestrian streets down here. Should turn out all right. There's enough signs as you can see, enough fake lighting going on. So we'll walk around, we'll check it out. I'm obviously drinking in the street. Still haven't got a real clear answer as if this is okay, but I think it is, so. I guess if it is, and we'll find out real quick. Over there is Shimen Station. Exit 6. It's one of the bigger stations here for the metro, so it's an easy place to get to. Rainbow sidewalk, Taipei, hell yeah. Sign says, Welcome, Shiman Walker. So, yeah, it's a busy walking street, especially on the weekends. It's kind of crazy how this area dies down during the day. Like you never imagine it lights up like this at night. I'll probably film another one where I retrace my steps to an extent during the day to show you. There's another claw machine arcade. Two stories of it. Let's do a quick walkthrough and see what sort of garbage you can with this one, huh? The most adorable small claw machine you've ever seen. Yeah. Win. Knock off counterfeit Game Boys. like that one right there selling umbrellas. Taipei is a pretty rainy city. It's been raining here almost every day since I got here about a little over a week ago. So I haven't filmed anything. I really haven't done much. I've binged a lot of Netflix, a lot of YouTube. Yeah, let's cut down this alley. Down there it just looks like the same old shit. All sorts of food. 
This alley here is called Tattoo Alley. There's tattoo studios like this one right here. When I first got here, I got a tattoo with this one up here on the left right here. These guys did it work now. Not here. But I got it at that shop. Here's this one. For uh, Doom Band, Typo Negative. One of my favorite bands. They quoted me 4,000 Taiwanese dollars to start with. And I was like, nope, not paying a hundred and, what is that? That's $133 US for that. So I was able to talk them down to, uh, I think it was 2,500 Taiwanese dollars. So uh, just over 80. They don't tip here in Taiwan, so pretty good deal. Same tattoo in America would end up costing 100, maybe a little bit over. I think it did a pretty good job. The line work turned out all right. Of course, the downside of getting a tattoo and traveling is it keeps you from getting in the water. And it's been a good week for going to hot springs here. So, I haven't been able to go to hot springs. I sure don't want to get my leg infected. Cut down this one. Just wear it. More claw machines. Maybe we've got the power pump for us. All sorts of weird stuff you can get from those claw machines. When I was in, I think it was Tainan, I saw a guy trying to win a backpack from a claw machine. I thought it was kind of interesting. Not even a young guy either, the guy was some uncle. Like he was 45, 50 years old, trying to win a backpack. I guess this is kind of the north side of it, the north end of the Shimen Walking District. More restaurants. Food here is pretty cheap, bubble tea. Here's another thing that you see all over Taiwan. Bubble machines. I don't really know what you'd call them, but they're the things in America that you see where they, uh, you got them at the grocery stores and such. All sorts of weird things. Octopus men. Mario. Mario. See how many Mario's we got, huh? Maybe that's it. Corgis, for some reason, are very popular here, but I have yet to see any corgis. Pokemon. I saw a Kirby back here. I'm thinking I'm gonna get a Kirby. They're also insanely expensive these bubble machines. Where'd it go? Here it is. It needs a 10 and a 50. But look at all the cool Kirby's you get. You can get Meta Knight out of this. Let's see what we get. Costs 60 Taiwanese dollars. Which ends up being $2 US. I'd love to get a Gundam, but uh, 200 I think that's a little out of my price range. So let's see what we get out of a Kirby machine. Oh, I got Meta Knight. I feel like that's the rare one. It's my lucky day. Now, if only I could win the lottery like that. Oh, more Gundam stuff. These are kind of cool. Only for $5. Look at this. You could even get a Japanese low table out of a bubble machine. Neat. A makeup vending machine. Never seen one of those before, huh? Let's continue. Go down another part of the Shimen walking district, huh? 
See, most people are wearing masks. I'm wearing mine like a cigarette smoker, like that guy, huh? Down around the bottom of my beard. Well, how else am I supposed to drink this cheap Taiwanese beer? There's the Muslim woman with the New York Yankees hat. Playing the balls and this kind of dumb stuff. Sounds like me in 2012. A little late on the joke there, but I thought it was kind of funny, huh? Shall we continue? This is essentially the extent of the Shiman walking district at night on a Saturday during the coronavirus outbreak. Street buskers with the baby. Also, never seen a man. Basically, if you like street performers, and food, and claw machines, this is your district. Now yeah, we'll cut down here, huh? This looks interesting. I don't think I've been down this stretch yet. That one is traffic jam. Look at this. VR arcade of some sort, I think. Oh, and if you would have guessed that we were walking by another claw machine arcade, you'd be right. And a bubble one. I do love the uh, clothing that they have here. Ketchup sauce. Seed. If only those were in men's sizes. Playing some street badminton. Cut back down. Always recycle, huh? They even got a tailor shop. I kind of like that pinstripe suit right there. Look, you can't even get a Sailor Moon dress. It's been kind of chilly in Taiwan. Times of about 67, I think. So, wore a sweatshirt, and of course, it's too hot. But I'm only wearing a sweatshirt. I'm not wearing a shirt under it because I'm that lazy right now. Anyway, that's the walking district. This whole area is called Shimanding, though. They've even got an Adidas store right here for all the Gopniks to come supply up at. Uber Eats guy almost running me over. He's got deliveries to make, though. I can't blame him. Six six six, because when I think of Satan, I think of claw machines. All right, so I think that's gonna kind of do it for this video. Maybe I'll cut a few more scenes and just walking after this. But yeah, I've become to Taipei. This is definitely an area that you're gonna end up in at some point. It's as you can see busy, even during a virus outbreak. You can see people wearing masks, people not wearing masks. Taiwan has been doing a great job at managing it, so everything for the most part is still open. <coughs> the window of a Taiwanese liquor store here. The most adorable liquor brand I've ever seen. It's called Bunnyville. Tons of massage places like that, which looks like nobody's working in them. And the garbage trucks here have speakers on them where they play annoying songs and speak extremely loudly. This about sums it up. That's the family mart where I got my beer. Might as well end it where we started. Another claw machine game arcade. Claw machine game arcade. Another claw machine arcade.
My Airbnb is down here. It's too dark to film, but there it is. Bear Junkies, the bear bar. So that about sums up Shima and Ding. I hope that the quality of this footage turned out all right. I've never used the GoPro at night. Stay tuned, if it worked out well, I'll film some more. I'll go to a night market and stuff. I'm even thinking about doing another one where I walk down seedy alleys like that one right there. Like I did in Taiwan, or not Taiwan, like I did in Tainan, Taiwan. And I will link that at the end of this one. So thanks for watching. Be sure to click subscribe.